Hi everyone, welcome back to all our subscribers and a warm welcome if it's your first time watching one of our videos. On this episode, Aurea, MJ and Kaylee get to relax in the most peaceful campsite that we've been to. Chilling in a hammock and listening to the stream running through the backyard, while Van, Caitlin and I head off into the mountains chasing the most majestical waterfalls. We find the best restaurant in Portable and then cool off in a muddy farm dam. I am Andre Herbert and this is my wife Aurea and our son Landon. We take you with us on our journeys in and around Cape Town and hopefully we can inspire you to get out there and embrace the wonderful places our city has to offer. If you are new to our channel, we are positive that by the end of this video you would have subscribed, which is free by the way, and become part of our YouTube family called At Cape Town. On this episode, we camp at the 22 Waterfalls campsite, nestled in the foothills of the Ulifants River Mountains, in a bit of a cove on the South African west coast, in a small farming town called Portable. From Cape Town, we traveled in a northerly direction on the R44 that leads you all the way to Portable. Go through the town, and as soon as you're leaving the town, turn right towards the mountain on the gravel road. There is no sign, but the turn off is right at the beginning of the two rows of blue gum trees on either side of the road. The gravel road will take you to a T junction. At the T, turn left, and that road will lead you all the way to the campsite's reception office. The gravel road was quite heavily corrugated, so take it nice and slow, especially if you're traveling in a sedan or have a road caravan. We traveled from Brockenfell and it was a total of 125 kilometers to the entrance and it took us about an hour and a half. You'll need to make a quick stop at reception where you will receive a tag for 24 hour access through the electric gate and to make any final payments. Unfortunately, there are no card facilities available, but cash and EFTs are welcome. The campsite plots are charged per plot that can accommodate up to four people but exceptions can be made if you are a family of five. The plots are covered in gravel and there are an abundance of trees for shade. Remember to bring a hammer and heavy duty tent pegs as the ground is mighty hard and we wrote off quite a few tent pegs. But once they're in, your tent is going nowhere. All the plots have built prize that come without grids each plot has a stream running through your backyard to help you switch off and get you into that relaxed, peaceful state of mind. The streams are shallow with little pools here and there, just big enough to take a quick cool down in. But just beware, we spotted a toe hungry crab lurking in the shadows of a root under the water, just waiting for an unsuspecting guest, as well as a disguised prince waiting for his princess to kiss him. I tried but apparently I'm no princess. The whole campsite has a tranquil feel to it, with plenty of trees to secure your hammock and have a snooze or read your favorite book with the flowing water as background music. Motorhomes, caravans and tents are all welcome, and you have a choice of 62 demarcated plots. Some are only suitable for tents as the trees are a bit low. Only some of the sites have electricity points, so just make sure when booking what you're getting. Unfortunately, water is only available at the ablution and scullery area. Who doesn't like watching the sun setting? Well, there's a big open grass covered section where you can take a blanket and a glass of your finest wine and watch the day slowly fade away. And if you look around, you'll see the mountains behind you coming to life with all their majestic colors popping out. The campsite only has lighting at the ablution buildings, so you'll at least need a torch, but feel free to bring some sort of lighting along to light up your plot. 
Unfortunately, your furry friends will have to stay at home, as pets are not allowed. Music is also prohibited throughout the campsite. All the major network cell phone carrier signal is good throughout the campsite, just in case you need to be in contact with the outside world. The various communal ablutions are fitted with showers that are hot courtesy of electric and solar combination geysers, so you'll have hot water 24 hours a day, hand basins with mirrors, and flush toilets. Toilet paper is unfortunately not supplied. The ablutions at the main campsite are adequate, but can do with a bit of an upgrade to fit in with the rest of the campsite that is in pristine condition. On the side of the ablution building is a scullery area with two dishwashing basins with hot and cold water. South Catering Chalets is also an option at 22 waterfalls, which vary in size and can accommodate from one to six guests, with bedding supplied. Then they have what they call compasses, that are little corrugated iron houses that also come with bedding and can accommodate a maximum of two people. That all is of course, if camping is not your cup of tea. Wood and ice is sold at reception. However, take a drive into town and you'll have quite a few shops to choose from, including a spa and a tops. The farm has a dam for fishing, stocked with black bass. They work on a catch and release basis, and there is no shade around the dam, so remember an umbrella. The farm has a mountain bike route that will lead you to a few of the waterfalls. We unfortunately didn't get a chance to personally do the trail as our time was a bit limited. Saturday morning, Van, Caitlin and I decided to leave the camp and take a walk up the mountain to see how many waterfalls we could find. The first waterfall is situated in the campsite and easy to get to and from there on, well, it's more of a climb than a walk. Various ladders and bridges will lead you to the most amazing waterfalls you've ever seen. As you get higher, it gets more difficult. And to be honest, I'd say the first few waterfalls are the best. So if you feel it's getting a bit too intense, rather turn around. The path is marked with yellow stripes painted on the rocks, but they are quite easily missed. We took the wrong path twice. And the only thing telling you you've gone wrong is the sound of the rushing water fades away. The water in the stream is crystal clear and we stayed hydrated all day courtesy of the stream without having any side effects. Be sure to take some snacks with you. We hiked for 5 hours before eventually giving up. The waterfalls aren't numbered and that's something they could improve on. We counted 24 waterfalls by the time we reached this hammock type structure that we have no idea what it's for. If anyone can shed some light on the purpose of it, please inform us in the comment section. We weren't too sure if we had missed the turnaround point, if the sign had fallen over, or what was going on. There is no cell phone reception as you get high up the path, so be careful, and I wouldn't do this hike alone. Thanks to Aurea for stuffing some peanuts and raisins into my bag as we were leaving the camp. We were in dire need of something to snack on. The packet of peanuts was delightfully shared between the three of us and we headed back to camp as the sun was getting quite low. On our way down we encountered a troop of baboons that were a bit too close for comfort. If you're going to attempt to get to waterfall number 22, we suggest leaving the campsite nice and early if you're planning to stop and appreciate each waterfall. And when you get to the hammock thingy, it's still apparently quite a way to go. It is the most scenic hike I've ever done and you'll be in the shade most of the time. It was a day very well spent and I'm sure it will be remembered for many years to come. Well done to Caitlin, she was so determined to get all the way to number 22. And if we didn't stop her, I'm sure she would have made it. We arrived back at camp just as the sun was setting. Exhausted, legs cramping and by this time starving while our fellow happy campers had spent the day in paradise, not even thinking about dinner. We headed off to town to find something to eat, 
and quite by chance found a restaurant with the best food in town. If you're ever passing through Porterville, be sure to pop in at Rendezvous Restaurant and B&B. Give the ribs a try. You will thank us later. Or otherwise, give one of their famous branded burgers a go. Both meals get our stamp of approval. Sunday morning and it's time to leave, but not before having a swim in the farm dam. This one won't be for everyone. Mud oozing through your toes, murky water and no idea what is lurking about. But for our city folk it was something different and a bit of an adventure we couldn't resist. Thanks to the Tatoys for an amazing weekend, you guys rock! And over to Caitlin quickly. So Caitlin, how was your walk yesterday? It was tiring, but also fun. Was it fun? That's good. And uh, tell people what you did. <laughs> what did we try and find? The 20 second waterfall. Okay, and how many did we find? Like 24, but that was with the small ones. Okay, awesome. And will you do it again? Um, yeah, but probably not in a while's time. Awesome, and will you suggest it to other 10 year old kids? Um, if they're up for a challenge, then yeah. Well done, Caitlin. <laughs> We can highly recommend this campsite to anyone who needs a break from the hustle and bustle of the city life and wants some peace and quiet. You'll get back home a rejuvenated person. We will leave all their contact details as well as a link to their rates page in the description section below this video. If we hear of any changes, we will leave a comment in the comment section and pin it to the top. We love hearing from our viewers, so feel free to leave a comment. Next time we're going to be heading to the town of Montague and we'll be camping at the most requested campsite our viewers have asked us to review, Montague Caravan Park. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss out on that one. We don't get paid to make these videos, but all we ask of you is if you found this video informative to hit that like button to show your support. You'll be surprised how many of our followers we meet and they want to know how much it costs to subscribe. Well, for those of you who don't know, it is absolutely free. And if you hit that bell icon after you've subscribed, you'll be informed as soon as we upload a new video. Till next time, and remember, it's not just a mountain. <laughs>